Welcome back to another episode of Dog Mantras, Common Canine Misbehaviors. And today we are going to a location pretty close to our center. Well, not that close, 11 kilometers. But still, we are going to the address Vadwa in Ghatkopar near our city. And uh, the issue that they are facing with their dog Diego, who is a Shih Tzu, is that he is a Shih Tzu. Well, people think that small dogs, toy breeds, they have issues and basically they are more stubborn, they are more fussy, they have more aggressive tendencies. But we've seen and we've actually uh, <clears throat> handled so many small dogs who are absolutely calm, submissive, relaxed. So it's not much about the breed, it's about the dog, his upbringing, his genetics and his instincts. So now, today, what the issue they are facing is basically they are saying is he barks at the door, he lunges at people, he's bitten people in the house. <clears throat> So now guys, we'll move to that place and we'll check it out what the issue is and we'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. Go, go. Wanna go? Yep, that day we discussed, no? Insecurity. Yes. See, the moment he gets eye contact, he feels insecure about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do, we'll do two activities today. Ek to, uh, so doorbell boundaries I was going to do the next session, but uh, looking at his intensity is not that worse. So right now we'll use that, like I said, no, energy body language, leash guidance and spatial pressure. These three will do a little combination of two activities. One will do a walk ka lenge, inche ja ke. and before that we'll just do a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of door boundaries and all. Uh, before that I just wanted to uh, ask you once again the bite incidents. Which one was it you mentioned? Many of them. <laughs> okay. So you are sitting here. Uh -huh. Okay. So you are sitting here. Okay. So you are sitting here. So you are sitting here. So you he knocked out the He's scared of the mm -hmm. See that walking stick. Oh, okay. Relax. 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 
Relax. अपने साइज के हिसाब से हाँ हाँ परफेक्ट वो थोड़ा विल यूज इट आई एम जस्ट राइट नाउ सो दिस इज द रूम यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ना दिस इज इज ओके सो राइट नाउ वॉट इज डूइंग इज इज डूइंग अ टिपिकल बिहेवियर वॉट अ डॉग हैज टू डू इज नॉट स्केर्ड हिज बींग हिज बींग कॉशियस बिकॉज राइट नाउ आई एम यूजिंग मोर ऑफ असर्शन देन हिम so generally what he learns to to dominate is we are around all of you mm-hmm. so biting growling jabbing makes me get things done mm-hmm. so right now there's someone who's using spatial pressure moving in this is spatial pressure what i'm doing right now okay and in the leash i've just kept for safety in case if he lunges but because of his insecurity that sensitivity he doesn't kind of do it. like he's not that confident where he just will go and grab everyone the so first thing no you all have to claim back the door and the the room and all again because you have to remove his territorialness from that yeah. so he is uh, spayed right i mean neutered right yeah ha so all i'm doing is because you said that this is his territory majorly where he becomes a little more assertive what i'm doing is i'm just c- trying to claim this place this is just for <coughs> This is okay. Yeah, so earlier it wasn't. No, not like that. Usko matlab pura hi territory usko. Ah, yeah, that's so, typical. So yeah, when people come home, na they are scared, to usko andar rakte hain bedroom. Okay. So, ye jo stick tha na, daddy ka wafu stick, with this he is. <laughs> Relax. Just mm-hmm. yeah. Daddy did something. That's it. After that day, he scared that stick. Ha, first incident was with that mm-hmm. stick. No, he was moving a double inside. Mm-hmm. Come. So he saw the stick. He got scared and he bit. Mm-hmm. फाइट जिधर भी जहां पे फील दैट दैट पर्सन इज अ लिटिल मोर कॉन्फिडेंट हिल नॉट फाइट हिल ट्राई टू फाइट इज वे थ्रू बार्किंग बट माइट नॉट गो फॉर लंचिंग लेट्स सी इज नॉट दैट सेंसिटिव टू इट आई गेस इट्स द मूवमेंट अह हाउ इज हिज दिस थिंग द बाइट इट्स रिकवर्ड वेरी श्योर डैडी व्हिच लेग सो दैट्स व्हाट विल बी यूजिंग लीश गाइडेंस अ लॉट नाउ इन द हाउस सो दैट यू ऑल प्रिवेंट फॉर बाइट्स एंड यू ऑल डीसेंसिटाइज हिम टू दैट सो यू जस्ट स्टे देयर आई विल गेट हिम आउट Come on, let's go. Yes, good. Okay. Take care, you good. 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 So. Yeah, yeah, he he is unsure. He is of course he is doing. He is acting typically. If there is a different male dominant person in the house, mm-hmm. I would say dominant dog in their habitat, if you call it like that. So that dog won't try to approach that other dog. No, so we'll just uh, do a little bit of doorbell desensitization. Let's see how he reacts. Shut up. See, so when the door rings, this happens, and now he's redirected it. He has to go to the door. Ha, so he has to go to the door. Keep the door closed. Keep the door closed. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Shut it. Shut it. He was okay. So when this happens, right? Uh, I'll be uh, initially telling you that अभी थोड़ा दिन ना उसको while practicing especially this activity, keep him on the leash. So Siddha, ring the bell again. So if he runs towards the door, you just hold the leash. He's waiting for her to come and open the door. Yes. Come. On. You hold the leash. 
So you know what I'm doing? I'm just tugging and releasing. That's it. And then he wants to go there to get the access. Shh, relax. Shh, sit. This thing you cannot practice when someone's actually at the door. Okay. You'll have to do it as a simulation right now like what we're doing. So we'll just sense it. I see that yawn. That was a good yawn. Shh. So that means his mind is working. Sit. Shh. Relax. Shh. Come on. Stay. Good boy. Yeah, see that, John. And then you can invite her. Ekbar, just ring the bell again. Hey. Relax. Relax. So let him put on his best fight. So when he's completely into that zone, right? I'm not constantly pushing him. I'm just waiting. And I'm not even doing anything so that he freaks out more. Just waiting for him to cool down. So I'm just using one sound to try to see the when I'm using more words he is escalating. See how it feeds off her energy. Uh unke energy. Pe. So in real time situation, itna lambe tak uske saath wait nahi karna. Right now I'm just, I just want to see his threshold. That's why the leash comes into the picture. So then the leash is there, and then, relax. Come on, come on, stay. Ah. So then with the leash, it's easier to control. I just wanted to see how, th how big is this threshold. Kitna time hua? Less than five minutes. Yeah. So he does that, then he redirects. Does that, then he redirects. He doesn't know how to surrender. So with the leash, then he, good boy. See that? So his brain is working right now. So his brain is. It also portrays a little bit of anxiety, but it, it's also a good sign where it's a calming signal. So he's throwing off the energy. Okay, I was uh, recommending them. Up be at home, so now we are going at the center only. You all want to bring him at the center today? We'll see him with dogs also.
guys have called Diego and his parents at the center and we'll just do a bit of evaluation and what I'm thinking is that given the bite incidences that happen in the houses and the bad incidences and negativity that's been spread, I'm giving them a break of 10 days and Diego is going to be with us, uh, he's going to board and train with us, we're going to work with him and he's going to have an amazing stay with us and you'll see a different Diego altogether. Also, it's day two and he's sensitized to my touch. Come in. Come on. And he actually loves this. So this boy actually needed a release of energy. He had a lot of pent up in him, a lot of frustration. He couldn't release it out. Being a small dog, actually we feel that they don't have higher requirements. But today he's done an exercise as good as a big dog. So the, the Rottweiler that we had, the biggest one, he did the same amount of exercise and he is a dog at the end of the day. He has the same requirements but with different intensities. So he is tired quickly. So, but whatever it is, now he is sensitized to the touch completely. See? Good boy. This fuck boy. <laughs> Reunion's done. Get back to the topic. Yes. The main purpose. Okay. Abhi, I'll be giving you a test right now. Is with Divesh. Divesh ke saath he didn't had a lot of interactions. Very few. The initial time to he tried snapping. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to create a situation where you know uh, he's come from outside. You've come at some other place and you're walking him on the street and he's going to approach your dog. Okay. Two types. One is two ways. Okay. We'll be doing it. You're, you're in for it, right? Yeah. So, Divish is going to uh, imitate two things. One, the typical dog lover. Okay, I'm, I'm going to touch the dog, okay? And he's going to directly jump in to touch him. There, your uh, job is to advocate for your dog. You have to stop him. Wait, wait, wait. My dog is under training. Uh, do not do this. Follow. No touch, no talk, no eye contact. As in, just say, ignore him. Let him sniff you first. If, you, if he approaches you, bend down and then you can pet him. <laughs> Samne se, samne se. Hey Diego! Hi! Hi! See? Understand? So there you have to be like, Shh. Stop. Don't approach like that. Okay? Hey Diego! Shh. Wait, 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 wait. He's not a dog who's very friendly. He's under training. You can approach him, but let him sniff you first. So then the sound, before the person is like on his face, trying to imit uh, intimate him, trying to make him lose more trust, you just ask that person to stop. Wait, wait, don't feel under pain. He doesn't like. You want? You can just uh, stand tight. He likes to even see. Yeah, loosen up the leash. Don't keep tension on the leash. Yeah? Approach a little more. Sideways. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. See, let him sniff. Keep the leash loose. Yes, and now call him. Come, Diego. Come towards you. Just a little leash pressure and call him. Yes, and say, good boy. Diego has gone back to his humble abode and we're all gonna miss him. 
uh, amazing experience and Siddharth and our uncle SPG is gonna share his, their experiences with y'all and uh, we're gonna miss DA. He was an amazing energy in the back. We've enjoyed with him, had fun with him. Uncle! Come on! The dog is with us for 10 days. It's very good. It's very good. I'm very happy to meet you. Now he's gone, so I think he'll come back. It's good. Got to learn a lot. Got to understand dog boundaries and the space. And the humans, of course, need to give dogs equal amount of space as they expect from the dogs. Nice. I got to meet Diego. I mean, I came here, he was already here. So, I just tried to go and pet him. And because I thought he was any other, I didn't know he was here for training. So that's when Diego sna snapped at me. So I was told he shouldn't, you know, go near and he should respect boundaries. So ever since after that, I've been coming as often as I can. And I've seen Diego grow in that he stopped snapping if you follow the right rules. And he's also learned a lot about being with other dogs and understanding boundaries and also humans. So it's been great knowing him and I see a real progress in him uh, over the time that he spent here. So friends, <coughs> You also, uh, I personally had an amazing experience because uh, I had a lot of expectations from him and <coughs> he actually uh, proved me right with all the expectations I had. Now I have a lot of expectations with the family and I have given them a lot of homework but I've made sure that it's not also a lot so that they'll get too tensed about it. But we are going to keep it simple, short, crisp and understanding so that they understand the meaning of dog psychology using their instincts first and making sure that they do it right with Diego and right by Diego. So guys, I'll keep updating you all through our Instagram stories. Uh, do stay tuned for the next video that's going to come out next Wednesday. But meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked what has been happening here and what we are trying to do. Bring dog psychology here in India. Make sure that people understand this concept. And hope to see you all next time, guys, with us next Wednesday. Till then, stay tuned. Share, subscribe, and comment down your views below. Thank you, guys. I just wanted to make a tune.